Okay, we're here at NAMM 2011 and we're at the Access booth. Uh, a bunch of our readers wanted to know about this new exciting Kempler profiling amplifier. We've got Thomas here uh, and Michael is going to be playing the guitar, but Thomas is going to give us uh, the rundown on this and I'll let him take it away. Okay, hello. Uh, as Kevin said, this is the Kemper Profiling Amplifier. This is for the first time a product which allows you to copy the sound of a real tube amp into a digital device so that you make your tube amp sound portable, basically. And uh, we're going to quickly show you how this works, the entire process. We have this uh, tube head here, which, is my, which Michael is going to play. Which he's playing right now. So the tube amp. We just set it to a sound that we like, pure tube amp sound, and just hit profile. And now the, the guitar input, uh, the guitar, guitar goes in here, goes from a direct out into the tube amp, which is connected to this isolation cap here. We will have to use because of um, sound level reasons. The sound is picked up by an SM57 microphone. If you want to have a look, right? If you want to have a look, just an SM57 standard microphone. It is an SM57, which which goes back into the microphone input of the profiling amplifier. So now the system measures basically the sonic DNA of this amplifier. This will take a little while. Now it's done. So, Michael is playing the reference amp. And there it is. So, this is the reference amp. And this is the profile. So, we brought the sound from here into this, but this is not just only a snapshot. We can edit the gain. We have even some parameters like can work on the level of the pick. Or work on uh, the behavior of the preamp. Go from a raunchy sound to a more boutique-like high gain sound. Then we have a very nice compressor, which helps us to... Uh, Michael can show how the amp opens up if he turns down the volume of the guitar. It's going from clean to distortion, like a real tube amp would behave. And with this compressor here, we can even out the volume level between the clean sound and the distorted sound. Just by changing the volume of the guitar. Yeah, what else? Just add a little bit of delay. He's playing it clean. Distorted. Just behaves like a real amp and more. So, thank you, Michael. We brought the sound of this tube channel into this device, edited it to our taste, added an effect. We have uh, eight slots for stump boxes here. We could add and just save it as a profile and then our sound is done. It's possible to, um, there's room for 10,000s of profiles in this unit. It, um, the profiles can be put onto a thumb drive. There's a USB connector in the back. So you could share your profiles with your friends all over the world. And um, yeah, that's a very convenient device to bring your sound anywhere you're going, if you're touring, 
you can leave your uh, vintage amp at home so that nobody uh, um, um, does anything bad to it and um, this will be available in May and it will retail in the US for $1600 yeah so that's basically the concept if you have any questions Feel free to ask. What, what exactly was the uh, where, where the stomps were? You don't actually model the stomps. No, the, the stomps are built in. Built they, in. They, they have been looked at and modeled before, so they're fixed. But but there are all, all, all the classic devices, MXR, Distortion, Pro Red, uh, Tube Screamer, Boss D is one. Can you control that from a foot pedal? Or? There will be a foot pedal as well, where, you be, where you'll be able to uh, um, uh, activate the stomp box individually and to do a lot of things, pedals for continuous parameters. It also has connections for um, uh, program up and down switches, plus uh, two connections for pedals, which you can use for controlling the wah-wahs and things like this. Excellent. Thank you very much, Thomas. You're welcome. Thank you. Michael Elsner, thank you very much as well.